I think what we thought about is that it, it's really important to show that, right? That there's, there's something that you can only understand by actually looking at the images and actually looking at the practices that go into it. And we had a lot of conversations about, is it ethical to show pictures of people at all, mm -hmm. for example, in this context? And I think the, the, the bet that we made was that it's really important to show the skeletons of the system. It's important to show the muscles. It's important to show the anatomy of the training sets themselves. Um, and keeping in mind that, that there are invasions of people's privacy when you're you know, extracting images and, and using them. And I think the way we solve that in terms of the images, we, we are kind of creating a structure that people can have their images removed, at least from the exhibition, if they want, which is not really possible uh, in the training sets themselves. So one of the things that Trevor and I thought about a lot for this exhibition is that some of these sets will contain people that you know. In fact, in the case of ImageNet, uh, when we were preparing these images, I realized that one of my colleagues at, at NYU is actually represented in the set. Of course, he has no idea. Nobody in these sets knows that they've been used in this way. So we were really careful to create the entire exhibition as a thing where if you see a face that you know or yourself, that you can actually choose to have it removed. And this is a freedom and a sense of agency that doesn't normally exist in these sets because it's much harder to actually remove it from the systems that use them. But I think for us, when we were thinking about how to show faces or not show faces, there is a, a moment of choice. If you say, we're gonna obscure the human faces for people who might come to see the exhibition, why are they seeing that differently to the way that machines would be seeing this, which is that they see the full and complete collection. So it's a very, I mean, I think it's very uncomfortable for both of us. There is a tension there because we, f we are deeply aware of the politics of privacy and representation. But I think in order to have the real conversation about what's going on with these systems, we actually need to see them in their full instantiation.